Hey guys, Luke C here with TFB TV. We're here at SHOT Show 2023 in the Caesars Forum here at the Thunder Beast booth. I'm here with Curtis to tell us about two of their new suppressors, one in 45 and one for 50 BMG. Curtis? How's it going? So this is our 50 BMG can. Um, it's in the prototype stages, but it's far enough along for us to show it. Um, basically, it's, it's what a 50 can needs to be. This is, our task was take a 50, go out, be able to shoot 100 rounds in a day, and not hate yourself. Okay. So that's what we did. Um, it's a modular can. It's got our SR system that we're familiar with. Uh, this is our test host and the original prototype. This is a 16 and a half inch 50 BMG, and we've been beating the hell out of this can for three months. It's great five That specific can so right there. This specific can. Okay, well, I'm assuming it's still working too, right? Yeah, Despite yep. the high round count. Yep. So it's modular, so it'll ship with full length configuration and a flat cap. Um, you can take the muzzle brake off and shorten it if you want. Basically take this module out and do whatever configuration you want. Okay, now explain it to me. I don't shoot a lot of 50 BMG. What would be the purpose of shortening or reducing the amount of suppression I have on a 50 BMG? Is it purely just for weight savings? Yeah, weight savings are like overall length. A okay. lot of guys are running really long barrels. So if you if this is too long for you, you can bring the brake back. Okay. And still have a very high performance suppressor, very good recoil reduction. Um, but the long configuration is really where you want to run it. Right. That's where it's really pleasant to shoot. And in this configuration, about how much does, this is the, uh, you guys are calling this the Ultra 50, right? Yeah, the Ultra 50. So in this configuration, the shooter's ear numbers with the brake are in the mid 130s. Okay, so if about you, what, what you get out of five, five, supersonic 556. Five, yeah, six. yeah. Okay. and if you put the flat cap on it, then you get down to sub 130 at shooter's ear. Okay. Which is, if anybody shot 50 BMG, that's an insane number to reach yeah, with the no suppressor. Yeah, okay, very impressive. Yeah. Um, so we've had, you know, we've all done three, 400 round days on this rifle system with this can, just with foam ear plugs and been perfectly comfortable all day and woken up the next day and not even realized that we shot 300 rounds of 50 BMG the day before. That's super impressive. What's the weight and overall length of, of the suppressor? So overall length is 21 and a half inches okay. and it weighs about 4.7 pounds. In the long configuration. In the long configuration. And then how much, I mean, you lose three baffles, I think, uh, when you yeah, take you off the front end? Yeah, you lose three baffles. It shortens, shortens it down to about 18 and a half and then it gets it right at that four pounds or less mark. And uh, construction, like what are we looking at? Is this uh, stainless steel? I mean, I, you guys are Thunder Beast <laughs> and we know you all do titanium yeah. suppressors. So is this a fully titanium 50 BMG suppressor? It's a full tie 50 BMG suppressor. Um, and that's why we're testing on a 16.5 to prove how durable and tough a titanium suppressor can be when it's properly designed and manufactured. Cool. Um, and it's, I mean, titanium is what we do. We know it, we do it better than anybody else. So that's what we're gonna make our 50 can out of for sure. Right, awesome. And I know this is a hard ask, but I know they're going to ask at home, how much is it going to cost and when can I pick one up? Uh, so these should go into production this summer. We're literally okay. just doing the final QC on accuracy, repeatability, getting multiple samples and testing them through the same process. Um, so we're hoping to have them in production around summertime and the first number is going to be a five. The first number is going to be a five. $500, everyone. You heard it here at <laughs> SHOT Show 2023 from the Thunder Beast booth, 50 BMG can. Yeah. Um, kind of want to move on a little bit from the 50 BMG can. That's awesome, but I think a number five, starting in the fives might be a little bit out of my price range. This right here might be in my price range. Yeah. What is this? So this is our Fly 45. We expanded, we came out the Fly 9 last year. So this is sim similar design. Um, it's modular, uh, so you can shorten it down if you want. Um, we designed this for two purposes, for okay. 45 ACP and right. 45 70 lever gun. Okay. Um, so it, it excels in both, it's super lightweight, um, it will ship ready to go onto a pistol host, and then we are selling direct thread adapters to go onto the 11 16 by 24, which is the standard for 4570. Okay, 4570. So yep. you can have a full length rifle can, or you can show this one's also modular, right? Yeah, it's also modular, yep. So this is hub, so you can put whatever hub adapter you want into the back of it. Um, it's also rated for 308 size cartridges, 16 inches or longer. Okay. Um, it's not really intended to be a do it all rifle can, but that's kind of what it emerged into when we designed it for 4570 and 45 ACP. It seems to me it's more like a, uh, a buy once, cry once can, right? It is, You yeah. buy a 45 cal can, you can put it on your pistol, you can put it on all your rifles, yep. and is there a barrel length restriction for the rifle configuration? Uh, there is, 16 inches. 16 inches, okay. Yep. And that's across all calibers that you can attach yeah. to? Yeah, 4570, 308, 65 Creedmoor, 243, gotcha. 16 inch. And then you did say earlier, it was, it's uh, full auto rated for 45 ACP, it right? Is. Yep, okay, it perfect. is, yep, it is. 
And uh, what are we looking at in terms of when I can buy this one and how much it's going to cost? So this one's in production now. It's available now. Okay. Um, and retail is twelve ninety. And uh, who are you guys distributing through? You guys going through Silencer Shop or Psycho or? Yeah. So we go through Silencer Shop, okay. Allen Arms, and Mile High are our three distributors. Um, you can also. If you have a local FFL SOT that wants to carry our products, they can order directly from us. Awesome, cool. So Curtis, on the uh, 545, what are we looking at in terms of how much it weighs, how long it is in both configurations? You've got a long and a short for the 545. Yeah, yeah. so in the long configuration, it's 8.85 inches, and it's 10 and a half ounces. In the short configuration, it's 6.6 and eight ounces. Okay, so half a pound for, for the short configuration. Really light would be good for, uh, you know, backcountry hunting rifle, something like that. Yeah, I mean, so essentially in the long configuration, we're lighter than everyone else's short configuration to start. Right. So you can get the same weight profile on the end of your pistol in a long configuration, performance-wise, or you can shorten it down and have something you don't even realize is there on the end of your pistol. Right, and is that with the direct thread only, or is that with the, the hub system? The That's mount with system, the, the QD hub. Mount? the hub and piston booster in there. Awesome. So if you go to our titanium 1116 adapter, that weight's going to reduce down even further. This Perfect. is cool. This has been what everybody's coming to see. Yeah, the 50 BMG is definitely the flex yeah. here. But uh, in terms of affordability and everything like that, I think the, the 545 is going to be what most people are, are yeah. going to pick up and buy, so right? So the thing to think about with this, right, is this is a $20,000 rifle system. Right. Right? And how many people do you know that have a 50 BMG that have shot it three times and gone, that hurts, and they haven't shot it again? Quite a few, actually. A lot, right? <laughs> so this is the can to fix that problem. We're going to make your 50 BMG really expensive because you're actually going to go out and shoot. Yeah, you're actually going to Now you can actually shoot. Yeah, it's yeah. useful. Yeah, I mean, I never would have guessed that I could design a suppressor and go out and shoot 300 rounds of 50 BMG in a day. And not have TBI by the end of it. And, and want to wake <laughs> up the next day and go do it again. Yeah. Right? So that, that tells us that this is the can for 50 BMG. Yeah, no kidding. Curtis, I want to thank you for showing us the new uh, Ultra 50 and the 545 suppressor. Guys, stay tuned to TFPTV and TFPT Showtime for more from SHOT Show 2023.